Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I will be doing a reading for the Earth signs. That's Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So if you have Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, this reading could definitely resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay, guys, so before we jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu Obatala, to the Agum Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for the earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay, all right, earth signs and or cross watcher. This is your reading, okay? Your reading is very similar to the fire signs, okay? Very similar, so if you guys wanna go watch that, if you're dealing with the fire sign, uh, if you got fire in your chart, it's hitting, okay? So, uh, underneath the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and then at the top of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Looking good, Earth Sign. So what that's telling me is this is a time in your life where you're being very, very um, committed, grounded, um, dedicated. You're working really, really hard, okay? It could have been that maybe a couple months ago, maybe a week ago, uh, you didn't have this energy in full alignment. Um, you're probably making plans and steps towards getting into getting into gear, right? But now, for whatever reason, this energy has shifted into your favor, and um, you could be waking up earlier. You could be working out morning, afternoon, evening, you know, whichever time works best for you. Um, eating healthier, okay? Getting rest. This, and not only are you doing that, not only did this energy shift happen for you and give you this uh, ability to, you know, stay grounded, stay dedicate, dedicated to a routine, but the routine is allowing you to reap benefits from it okay you're coming across new opportunities and um you're taking them because i see you you have that knight of pentacles in here but you also have a page of pentacles in your first row okay um yes i see you being very grounded very honest and honest uh within yourself honest the same way i saw with the fire signs honest about who's around you and why they're around you seeing the karmic connection of uh, the people who are basically showing you a reflection of aspects of yourself and understanding that these are aspects that you have to walk away from, okay? And then, you know, you're taking on new, healthier um, aspects, okay? So, like I said, you got that Knight of Pentacles, some dedication, some hard work, you're paying attention to details, and then that Wheel of Fortune, anything good, that can happen to you in this life will happen to you as long as you're ready to take those opportunities. So we can go ahead and jump into your first row. Your first row, you have the Queen of Swords in the reverse, the Seven of Wands in the reverse, that's my do-over card, the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Okay guys, you got angel number 77 in your first row, Page of Pentacles in the upright. It's rounding out the first row. So the one note that I made, if any of you, and this could be a small group of you, had a, uh, an issue with an addiction, you're definitely getting over it, okay? If you were addicted to any kind of drugs or anything like that, it made you, um, you could have felt very confused, unfocused. Um, you could have been very cold and manipulative uh, in the past due to substance abuse. OK, but now you're 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 um, with this page of Pentacles discovering a, some form of stability. V very, very stable. You have practical efforts and, and, and routines in place that are keeping you more grounded and focused. Now, if that's not if it's not that you have an addiction, because there definitely is something about addiction in this spread. It could have been a person who uh, is addicted in your life. Someone who is very um, mean and cold, um, yeah, and made you feel confused, made you feel confused. And now you're walking away from that in your second row, okay? Because in the second row, we have the Eight of Cups in the upright, 
the sun. You got a lot of major arcana in the spread, okay? A lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, the sun in the upright, chariot in the reverse, the justice card in the reverse. Yeah, definitely a lot of majors with the sun, chariot. In, that, in the second row, sun, chariot, justice, the bottom row, we got the devil, we got the empress, we have the wheel of fortune on the top of the deck. What do we have? Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. So, um, okay, with this, this is saying that whatever was very emotionally heavy was just too much for you. You finally decided to walk away. It was hard, very, very hard. It, it probably hurt emotionally, but you knew that in order to succeed, you had to walk away from any kind of manipulations, um, regrets. Uh, a lot of sorrow and sad feelings. But when you walked away, it brought you success with the sun. The sun is success. Sun shines on everything in your life. Everything in your life. And I know you're shining because you got that will of fortune and you're, and you're focused with the Knight of Pentacles uh, at the bottom of the deck. So this um, chariot in reverse, justice in reverse, was how someone else was making you feel unstable like you weren't getting your just due, okay? And if it was your addiction that was um, doing this to you, if you were addicted to anything, sex, drugs, materialism, shopping, worrying, you know? Sometimes we're addicted to um, negative thinking, okay? That was really um, unstabilizing you. And if you were addicted to negative thinking, you were drawing in situations that were... Um, you know, to your detriment, okay? You were bringing in those negative situations with your thoughts, but you've decided I'm done thinking. I'm done thinking like that, being with people who are like that, because now I'm ready to, for the sun. I'm ready for the sun, okay? Bottom row, we have the seven of swords in the reverse. We have the devil in the upright. 10 of cups in the reverse, and the Empress in the upright. Guys, this is what I've been um, seeing, like with this just little pattern of three bad cards, one good card in the row. Um, okay, there is someone who was intentionally trying to deceive you, intentionally trying to um, make you obsessed or is obsessed with you, um, to make you addicted and chained to them. This could have been involved in a marriage. This could be a family member, okay? Um, Cause that's in the, this is a family card. 10 of Cups is a family card of, uh, of love, happiness, but it could be a family member. It could be a, a ex-husband, ex-wife, or current husband or wife. But it's because um, they want to, you, you have this Empress energy and somebody sees that you're starting over you're more dedicated, you're more focused, and they would want you to um, come back down. Come back down to our vibration or my vibration, whoever this is, because the seven of swords in reverse is someone who is purposely trying to deceive you. Not that you guys got together along the way and someone ended up lying about something. It's no, when I'm coming back to you or the reason why I'm in your life is to deceive you is to make you, um, to chain you, to tie you to me, or tie you to a um, obsession of uh, drugs, sex, and materialism, okay? And if this was you, you might feel like your demons are chasing you, okay? And I, I, it's just something that I'm feeling, because it's something that I was getting off that Sagittari Sagittarius, that um, fire sign reading, and I'm feeling it here, where you may be involved, and most times we are, with, with what was holding you back, you know? We do like to blame people for why we're not moving on and why we're not getting ahead, but sometimes we don't ask ourselves, why am I letting this person in my life? Like, what is that about, okay? Why, you, get, you have to because you can't be a victim. If you wanna be a victim all the time, you don't grow, um, and you're not taking responsibility. And that's so important in this life and for your spirituality is to take responsibility. See, because that's what this devil and son is telling me. And it was the same thing it was telling me in the fire sign reading that you are getting closer to understanding or you already understand 
what it is I'm here to do on this planet, on earth, what makes me happy. I also understand that I'm capable of good and bad, that both good and bad reside in me, but I do so much better when I choose the good. I do better when I choose the good. I'm not being so um, judgmental on myself or the people who I feel like cause me hurt and pain because I know that what they're doing is choosing the bad within them instead of choosing the good that resides in them, okay? And this is this is exactly what I was seeing in the fire sign reading. It's kind of crazy because literally, I mean, I had a whole reading in between the two of you guys and, and here it is again, like the devil and the sun. Devil and the sun. So it's it's understanding why you're connected to these people, what they're showing you about yourself. Um, because if you've got people in your life that are showing you no love, it's probably because you're not showing love to yourself. OK, if you have people um, that are lying to you, it's probably because you don't accept the truth about yourself. OK, it doesn't mean you're a liar. It means you probably do lie to yourself. OK, so accept who you are, good and bad. OK, but always choose the good. Always choose the higher uh, portion of yourself. OK, we can't help that. We, you know, we're, we're on this earth. This is where we are. This is where we've chosen to learn our lessons um, and to clear our karma. But you can do it successfully if you just see things for how they are, for the truth and move on. Learn your lessons and move on. Um, you guys are in a very, very good cycle in your life. You're doing really, really well. Success is definitely for you because that's what the sun is about. Happiness and success. Page of Pentacles tells me you're going to have author, offer, <laughs> authors. You could be writing a book. You're um, going to have offers, but um, whatever it is, it's going to be practical, um, dependable, stable. Um, if this is you working in that way, it's a great way to go. If this is a love offer, which I don't know if it is, but if it is, it's, it's good. It's really good for you. Okay. Because like I said, the will of fortune and the sun, it shines on everything in your life. And um, the will of fortune is anything and everything that can be good for you will be good for you uh, as long as you're w willing to take on those opportunities. So that's in love, work, family, um, all aspects. So um, earth signs, keep it up, keep it up. And, and, and don't go back to any kind of vices. Uh, and yeah, no, I'm just happy for you. I just, I don't know. I don't know how much more to reiterate just keep fighting the good fight. Okay. Um, that is what I have for you. If this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. All right, guys.